There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. All right, everybody, welcome to the Developer Insight call. All right, my name is Nathan Williams. I am the developer of Arrow, Red Light, Green Light, Market Maker. This call is to help anybody that's brand new get set up. And for anybody else, we're here to answer any questions or go over any uh, new updates. All right, uh, we will go over, and I'll show you guys red light, green light, uh, the EA that's now starting to run. Uh, outside of that, you know, we will discuss anything that you guys want to discuss. So let's leave it open to the group first and go from there. All right, gonna put down questions. Not a promotion of your EA on uh, FTO. Uh, so with the prop firms, Obviously, you haven't been in the group long enough, so I'll give you the rundown on prop firms. I don't really care what anybody posts. I've been talking about since day one, since the launch call before anybody used it. The EA is not recommended to use on any prop firm until we make a agreement with the prop firm to do so. All right, why? I'll give you an example. In the first two months, now there's probably over 50 people that passed a funded challenge with my Forex funds and FCMO and started getting payouts. Dante was one of those, uh, and that's fine. Like I said, he knew the risk, just like uh, everyone else knew the risk at the time because I was warning them. So again, it was really up to you. Uh, a lot of those guys made enough money back to pay for, uh, you know, of course, once you pass it and get your first withdrawal, you get your original payout, I mean, your original cost back. So everybody that did so, uh, you know, hey, they made money, all right? Now, here's what happened afterward. After about three months, uh, my forex funds really started making uh, very large manipulations. In one day, I remember there was uh, four people that were on my forex funds trading, same pairs, same risk. You know, they were all in the same little group together. One guy, uh, the trend was a buy. We were in a buy trend. One guy was in buys. He had his buys. Everything was good. He was in profit. Another one was in sales, even though the trend said buy. Guess what? The EA does not take opposite trends, but they put opposite. Uh, they, you know, had it set to where his account would take opposite trades. All right. The third account, the third individual who was trading, uh, their trades were being closed out in the negative. They open up, they run for a little while, and then they close for no reason. There was no anti hedge. There was no. He didn't, you know, close it out himself. All right, the broker was doing that on its own. And then the fourth account took zero trades. None, no trades. All right, I don't recommend them. If you use them, use them at your own risk. If you lose, that's at your own risk. If you win, it's at your own risk. I've told people, stop using funded accounts. All right, we now have uh, a couple that are now approved. I'll be announcing those this week. Uh, waiting for the second one to finalize everything uh, so I can really push that one out. If not, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and recommend one. All right? Uh, I mean, you don't need to see me. I'm just talking, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to be seeing me. All right? You just need to listen. Do not stop using funded accounts. All right? Again, this has been a warning since day one. If you use it, it's at your own risk. People come to me all the time saying, hey, Nate, the EA is not working. 
I asked why, uh, I mean, what broker they're using. They always let me know it's a funded account. I say, hey, I've already been telling people not to use it since day one. So if you go against my wishes, you're trading at your own risk. All right. Any other questions? I'm not going to be the dead horse on that one because I've talked about that uh, for months now, almost six months. We've talked about that. What is the best risk to use on 1K balance account? Three of you. How much risk do you want to take? Doesn't really matter. It's up to you. All right. I've got a 1K account running at 1% risk. I want to take, I'm willing to take the, the drawdown. All right. So I'm running at 1%. I'm willing to take it. Uh, let me look at it right now. That's the one that I posted in the chat that had all the uh, that had all the uh, Nas trades. Right now, I'm down about six bucks. All right, uh, about six percent. See you. Uh, got four trades, all at one percent. I'm sorry, I'm at point six. So if, if I lose, it'll be a you know a four percent uh, loss because I got four trades and everything is running at one percent. Uh, so not bad. You know, about to be about to be back in profit now, so that's looking good uh, on this account right now. Nas has been doing the best for me. I just turned off German Thirty, so I only be using uh, running Nas right now. I'm gonna put out a new version of Market Maker, going to shrink the stop loss and take profits because the market is not trending like it used to. That way, uh, stop loss. I mean, that way profit locks get uh, get hit a lot sooner. All right, so look for that uh, for that change to happen. We run EA all day. You run it all day, never turn it off. Why? Because EA is optimized and runs when it's supposed to run. So definitely leave it on. Leave it on. Or if you're in the United States, all you have to do is approve trades every 24 hours. If you're outside of the United States, it doesn't matter. But leave it on. Don't turn it off. It's going to automatically turn off and on as it's supposed to. It's optimized fully. All right. Uh, the prop firm account, I'm running at 0.4%. Uh, 0.4. And we are back in the blue with the Nas trades. Thank you. I was up like 1.4% uh, a minute ago. Need to see that again so we can go run that up. All right. Um, yep. Any other questions? Any other questions? All right, no questions. All right, great. Then we will go talk about uh, we'll go talk about red light, green light, VA. I'll give you guys updates on it, how it's running, what it looks like. All right, just took his first trade today. Just got it started running. It. All right, as you can see here, I've got a ten thousand dollar account running. I got a five thousand dollar account running. I got a thousand dollar account running. All right, we'll talk about it. $10,000 account. All right, so I'm going to give you guys the rules on Market Maker here. I mean, on Market Maker, on Red Light, Green Light, so you guys understand how it how it runs, how it works. All right. All right, let's do a little notepad. Oh, I forgot we can't do it here. All right, let's stop this here real quick. All right. Uh, I use indicator as well as it's confluently overall direction. All right. Is it possible to have few account on one? Nope. One account on one MT4 at a time. Only one at a time. Yeah, only one at a time. So let me bring up a notepad real quick. And we'll go through everything as far as the settings go with uh, red light, green light. So you guys got a pretty good idea of how it works. All right. Let me share my screen. All right, here we go. So red light, green light, PA. All right, right now, this is trading gold. Trading gold. We'll start testing oil next week. So it trades gold and oil. All right. So for gold, here are the gold settings. All right. Gold settings. It has a TP of 292 pips. 
They have a stop loss of what? 139 pips. All right. That is a risk to reward ratio. Uh, what is that? Do math on here. 139 divided by one to 2.1. All right. Risk to reward ratio of one to 2.1, which is beautiful. All right. Max number of trades that can be opened at once is equal to eight. All right. Uh, the trend. Trend filter is the daily. All right. Entry time frame is the minute one. All right. Now we got uh, <clears throat> we got the uh, uh, trade management. All right. So from a trade management standpoint, all right. Once we are all right, 180 pips in profit equals five pip stop loss. Oh, hold on. Equals move stop loss five pips in profit and take 30% partials, all right? Once uh, 220 pips in profit equals 69, right, move stop loss, <clears throat> 69 pips in profit and take another 30% partials, uh, partial profit, so we'll call it partial profit. All right, partial profit. All right, so let's do the math on that. Let's do the math on that. We got a standard lot. We got a standard lot on this trade. All right, standard lot times 180 pips. All right, standard lot times 180 pips is beautiful. A standard lot <clears throat> is $10 per pip times 180. That means we are up $1,800. So we are positive $1,800. All right. All right. EA is going to EA is going to so red light, green light. We'll lock in fifty bucks. We're gonna lock in uh, five pips of profit. So lock in as far as moving stop loss. Lock in fifty dollars with stop loss. All right. To cover the spread. All right. And then red light, green light. We'll close out. $600 in profit, all right? Now you still got, now you got a 0 0.70 lot running. And when you get to 220 pips in profit, that is equal to 1,540 bucks, all right? Red light, green light, we'll lock in. Uh, so 0. 0.7 times 60, so that's $7 times 69. That's uh, 420, that's 400. It will lock in $483, all right, with stop loss. And then red light, red light green light will close out another point, another uh, 30%. 30% 30 of 0. 0.7 is 0. 0.21. So 0. 0.21, all right, is $2.10 times 220 pips, that is now, we'll close out, $464, all right? And then now you got what? Now you got a 0 0.49 left over. And when it goes hits TP at 292 pips, all right, of 0.49 is $4.90 times 292 equals all right, 0. 0.49 times 292 is equal to 1430. All right, so let's do that math there. All right, 1430 plus the 464 profit plus the $600 profit is equal to total profit is 2494. All right, that's total profit. And it goes all the way to 292 pips. Now the loss, let's look at the loss. 
a standard lot. So total potential loss, all right, total potential loss. Uh, is standard lot times 139 pips, which is equal to $1,390. So you see here over $1,000 more, over 1100 actually 1104 difference between max loss and max win. All right. So very good on the risk reward. All right. Very good on that. Very good on that. So we'll leave all that. All right. Let's go talk about the rest. So now we want to talk about the trading time. All right, so it trades Monday through Thursday, 2.30 a.m. Eastern, all right, until 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, that's it, Monday through Thursday, 2.30 a.m. Eastern until 3 p.m. Eastern. Now, there might be trades open past that time frame or, or outside of this, this time range. This is the only time that it will enter trades, all right? I now have four positions. I now have four positions on. Uh, uh, I now have four positions. Is it four? Let me look at it. Just double check here. I now have yep four positions. Uh, it's after three p.m. Eastern, so I won't get any more trades. I can still have four more trades because you get max eight. So if it enters any more trades, it'll be after two thirty a.m. Eastern. You know, uh, tomorrow morning. All right. And right now I'm up, I'm up 1.4%, all right? And then as far as um, profit slash equity protector, all right? This is optimized too. So uh, what this means is that there's a max amount there. If the, if the EA makes so much money per day, all right, it will stop trading. If it loses so much money per day, it stops trading. If it makes some, you know, for the day, if it loses or makes so much money for the week, it stops trading as well to protect your account from either further losses or to ensure that you don't give back your profits. All right. So we'll talk about the daily. Daily uh, equity protector means that how much will it lose? All right. We'll talk about this uh, at one percent, and we'll put together a chart because it. It uh, the number is going to be number is going to be the same, just at different variations based on what percent risk you are running. So at one percent risk per trade, one percent risk per trade. We'll put together a chart just like uh, like we have for market makers, so you understand what it is at each level. Daily equity protector, all right, for one percent risk per trade, all right, is three percent. All right, daily profit protector, all right, is four percent. So if it loses 3% for the day, it stops trading. If it makes 4% for the day, it stops trading. All right, weekly equity protector. All right, and again, this is at a, uh, this is at a, uh, this is uh, at 1% risk per trade. All right, weekly equity protector is 5%. So it won't lose more than 5% for the week. All right, it will close out. Weekly profit protector is 10 percent meaning that what at 10 percent it will stop trading but to make 10 percent profits all right so if you cut these numbers in half that's what your that's what it, the ratios will be for a, a, a half a percent risk per trade just cut these numbers in half 1.5 to 2.5 and 5 all right at two percent risk per trade double these numbers you just double these numbers all the other numbers you know so we'll put together a little chart for you guys so you guys understand the math behind uh, uh it and you see what the actual protector levels are set at for every risk per trade all right uh and as course you know same risk per trade allowed everything from 0 0.1 percentage to two percent per trade all right that's it that is it all right and obviously it's set up Yes, you can be at eight trades at once. So at 2%, guess what? You, you can uh, lose only 10% max, meaning that what? It's not going to put you in all eight trades, even though it can. It's going to stop you at five trades because five times the 2% you're risking is 10%. I'm sorry, two trades. It's only put you in two trades, all right? Because you can only, I'm sorry, five trades. My apologies. Is that 2% risk per trade 
this number doubles to 10 percent weekly equity protector which means you can you can lose 10 percent for the day i mean for the week so it will only add up to up to five trades max all right so keep that in mind all right uh, let's go back into the ea here you guys can see it one more time different little dashboard all right red light green light you can see here i got it at risk for trade one daily protector um for one percent is three and four weekly protector five and ten just like we talked about ten thousand dollar account again nothing is updated here because we just started running but you see here on a 15 minute time frame i got two entries up here two entries down here tps are down below all right looking for that looking for that drop i'm looking for that drop all right uh got real close when we we're down here to the first uh uh and the, to the first entry uh taking partials and putting stop loss and profit all right you can see stop losses are way up here all right right here and then right here so we're looking for a price just to pull back all right i feel pretty good about this uh this trade it may pull back on us a little more than we would like to but uh based on the way that i trade and i'll show you why i like the setup right now all right let's go look at it you have uh you got this order block right here got that order block right there i already tapped it once but yeah i spread it just to tap it again and then to it's easy to downside so setup pretty good all right setup is pretty good uh Again, you know, it looks at the daily time frame for the overall trend. As you can see on the daily, we've been in a crazy downtrend, all right? And then of course it enters in your entries on the one minute. All right, so far so good. All right, right now up 130 bucks on a $10,000 account, that's 1.3%, all right? Uh, now, $1,000 account, didn't take any trades, why? It tells me I need 1390. Why? We have a fixed stop loss of 100, 139 pips. So a 0 0.01 lot size, all right, for gold is going to be 10 cents. All right, 10 cents times 139 pips is what? That's uh, $13.90. All right, well, uh, uh, the lowest 0.1% risk on a $1,000 account uh, is a dollar, all right? But this is gonna put out a dollar thirty-nine. It'll be the loss if we lost it, so it's over. So you're gonna need, uh, I'm, you know, the minimum you need is really fourteen hundred dollars, like the lowest amount you can trade this with for gold. Um, but I recommend, you know, two thousand and up is what I recommend uh, to trade this. All right, uh, for those who are. For those who are overseas and have access to um, the PAM, all right, so uh, AP Social Trading, this will be on AP Social soon, and you'll have access to that uh, so that you can actually run that, all right? And, you know, at that point, the minimum amount that you put in will be like 500 bucks. Uh, so you'll be able to have, you know, access that, that, that runs differently as far as the way that, you know, uh, the overall account trades. All right, so $5,000 account is up. You know, almost 60 bucks so it was up over one percent uh, as well as a ten thousand dollar account so so far so good on gold um i'll show you one last thing which is the the results for this pair for red light green light uh the back test results you guys can see that uh give me one second here we go find that real quick we go find the back test results for you guys to see. All right, so uh, this is red light, green light running for one entire year. All right, one entire year. All right, so you can see here, uh, it started off with a uh, what is this? Hundred thousand, a million dollar account, million dollar account. All right, a million dollar account doesn't even matter if it's a million or if it's a thousand, you know, uh, I'm sorry, 10,000. The number's gonna be the exact same. All right, on a million dollar account, it made 2.1 million in a year. So it did over 211%. All right, almost 212%, 211.9% is what it did in a year. All right, 2.85 profit factor, very good. 
what this profit factor means is that for every dollar that you risk, all right, you may you know over the course of a year, it made two dollars and eighty-five cents. All right, max drawdown was eleven percent. That's pretty good for gold for those who know gold. All right, for all the shorts, all the sales, I took a total of five hundred thirty-four trades over the year. So that's an average of over forty trades a month. All right, over forty trades a month, almost forty-five trades, about forty-three trades, forty-three is a change, almost forty-four trades a month. All right. Um, 303 of those trades were sales. It won 87% of that. All right. Uh, 231 of those trades uh, were buys, and they won 73.59 of that. So overall, on all those trades, uh, the ones that it was profitable on, it was profitable on 81.46%. So for the most part, this strategy that's been running with red light, green light for the last year is 81 almost 81 and a half percent accurate all right 81 and a half percent accurate you can see that nice graph nice graph nice upswing all right so beautiful thing there beautiful thing there and we'll continue to run this and test this out uh before we release live so any questions about red light green light when does ea hire the stop loss to look at nas uh I'm not really sure what do you mean EA higher stop loss. What does that mean? What do you mean by EA higher stop loss? What does that mean? I'm back up one percent on Nas trailing stop loss. Oh, uh, man, you got. I'm about to go look that up. It's in the video. So I hear the video if you go in the chat uh, to if you go to aim market MMTEN, there's a video in there. All right, about version 2.03. I've got everything in there. Uh, it talks about profit locks, it talks about you know all, you know, all the information. I can tell you it's somewhere around like 960 something pips, I believe it's like 968, 963, something like that. Uh, my Nas trades, they uh, had profit lock today when they hit like 960 something. Uh, so that's that's where it takes its first, uh, it takes it locks profit in and it takes partials at 960, uh, somewhere, somewhere around there. So that 2.03 version video will uh, give you everything you need to know about every pair, Nas, US 30, and DAX. But I'm back up 1% right now. Pushing. I need Nas to push. I need to get this. Uh, I'm trying to see some nice little profits on Nas today. All right. So we've been on for about 30 minutes. Uh, answered a couple of questions. Um, went over red light, green light, EA for gold. We'll talk about, um, we will talk about uh, oil next week or the week after when we get that. Uh, we're probably going to just launch the gold start like we did with Dax and then we'll add a pair you know as we get things rolling all right my prediction is it's going to continue to go up so if you want to close trades I know a lot of people that like to, they close trades this time of day at, at the end of the day so they don't pay the spread I mean they don't pay the uh, the swap fees so while you're in profit I'm up I'm up almost one percent right now a little bit lower if you want to close it out close it out all right uh, I know a lot of people that do that by the end of the day they don't like trades to go on I'm gonna let it run uh, I think it's going to gap up uh, a little bit. I think it'll continue to run. So uh, I expect price to continue to rise. All right. But, you know, again, I take that risk. I just let this offer run. All right. I'll let it run. That's my goal. Thomas, question concerns. Would you recommend just trading now in your 30 on the approved prop firms? Uh, I'm going to say I recommend trading everything to do the new, you know, well, if we're, before the new version comes out, so the new version is going is to go back to kind of like what 2.02 .02 was with smaller uh, stop loss and take profit uh, that hit profit lot one a lot faster, profit lot two, and even TPs because, you know, we still get a good 500 to 1,000 pip moves out of Nas, uh, sometimes more. Uh, and US 30 still giving 1,000 to 2,000 pips a day. Uh, it's just not trending those five, six, seven, eight thousand 8,000 pips we're used to seeing uh, for those few months. Uh, so I would say Nas only. Like right now, I'm only going to run Nas. I've turned German 30 off. Uh, on my prop firm, uh, I only run uh, Nas and US 30. 
So I'm testing, and then on my personal account, I'm only running Nas and US 30. If I took DAX off. Now, DAX is good. You know, I'm tempted to still run DAX because my trades on DAX were great. I was up 935 pips on my DAX trades uh, last night, and then it reversed and went and hit stop loss. And stop loss is at 1,920 pips. So we had a 2,800 pip reversal. But the take profit on, on DAX is 4,900 pips. So it, it doesn't even lock in profit and take partials until like 2,800 pips. But I was up 935. You know, that was a good time to go ahead, you know, take, take partials or I'm sorry to close the trade out. So I, you know, we, we, we'll see. Uh, I'm probably not going to run it. But if I do decide to run it, I'm still thinking about that. And I'll let you guys know what I do. If I do run it, then what I'll do is I'll just, uh, once it gets, you know, trades are in profit, you know, <clears throat> 500 pips or more, I'll just close it out. I'll just close it out and take that, take that money. All right. Uh, AP doesn't have their own prop firm. So prop firm going fine. Uh, it's down a little bit right now just because you guys have seen, you know, the market been down a little bit. Uh, and, uh, but I'm not down like FTMO and market, you know, I'm sorry, FTMO and my forest funds. Those, I told everybody stop, not to use those, but I don't want to tell you. Um, but I'm not down that much. So a lot of you guys also are risking a lot. You know, I never risk uh, more than 0.4 on a prop firm. You know, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 max. All right. Why? Uh, well, actually, I'm not even going to get into it. Uh, you know, when the prop firms are released, then I'll start having conversations and calls uh, or talk on the calls about, you know, best way to approach a prop firm with the software. All right. But other than that, that's all I got. Not really sure what you mean by manipulation. I mean, we already talked about that. Stop using them. I mean, I, I can't say it enough. I'm not going to say it no more. I'm, I mean, it is what it is. Past phase one, 10%. Past phase two, 20% of traders who past phase one. Yep, I am aware of those numbers. And those are actually good numbers. So those numbers have gotten worse. So, yep, stats of my fourth one. I agree. Those aren't, you know, in the beginning, those stacks were flip flop. You know, we had a lot of people. Uh, that is from my forex funds. Yeah, most people that trade my forex funds uh, are using EAs that don't really work, or they're manually trading themselves. And most people, you know, don't do well because the prop firms put pressure on you. You got 30 days to hit 10. percent You got, you know, uh, you can't lose more than this. You can't, you know, so it's you know you can't use a lot size bigger than that. You know, it's it's uh, they put a lot of things on you that makes it very difficult. You got to trade minimum 10 days, you know, stuff like that. All the little rules you have to follow. People will break some of those rules and not even know it, lose an account. Or the rules put pressure on you and force you to lose. I've lost a lot of an account before I got fully funded. It happens. And the number one rule that got me was the daily drawdown rule. 5% in a day. I'd always, that's the one that got me every time. You know, 5.01, 5.1. You know, 5.0009. I was, I remember one time I was 13 cents. 13, I closed, I closed the trades out. I was trying to close them out before 13 cents over the limit. Lost my account. And that was in phase two. I was really upset. That's part of the game. That's why prop firms keep popping up everywhere because people keep feeding billions of dollars into it because it's easier to go that route and get a $100,000 account for 500 bucks and make good money off of it versus having to use your $500 to trade and have to grow that account big time before you start making, you know, decent size withdrawals. Yep, it is part of the game. So that's all I got for you guys today. Anybody have any questions uh, about red light, green light, market maker, arrow, any questions about anything of that nature? Yeah, no problem. All right, nobody? All right, great. I said this week, Mark, so if you got on late, I've already said I'd release another uh, prop firm this week. You guys are so anxious for a prop firm. Um, I'll release it this week. So, all right, guys, you're going to trade the rest of the day. Make sure you trade responsibly, and I'll see you guys in the funny paper. Thanks. <laughs>